Okay. Welcome back. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know, I'm pretty disgusting. And if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I remember our time fondly. Hello my little chipmunks. I am so excited for another episode of New Nonsense Makeup Bingo. And if you are here, hello. My name is Teresa and I'm a garbage person and that took a lot of effort because my hand hurts. I need to stop doing that. With that said, if you are new here, this is a video that I do once a month with my beautiful, wonderful friend on here, Emily Hanhan. Emily is actually the brainchild of this idea and I'm just merely riding her coattails. Unlike some of the normal new release videos, this has a little bit of a different kind of flair to it. Do it more in a bingo style and I I have a couple of adult libations because why not? In today's video, I believe we pulled over 40 possible products to talk about. I know. I'm going to show you all of them here. those images, throw them in a random number generator, and then it just spits out the results for us. And much like bingo, we do not stop until we hit bingo. So uh, hopefully I hit bingo. If not, I'm drinking all of New York City dry. This is my makeup bingo card tonight. And without further ado, welcome to motherfucking makeup bingo. Hi babies. Tonight I'm drinking a lovely Tito's vodka, some organic strawberry lemonade, because you know I want to feel healthy. I went to Trader Joe's today, and I don't know where you are in the world, but coronavirus is running rampant, y'all. So everybody in the supermarket is just nuts. I feel like the only things I was able to grab was two bags of gyoza and about two bottles of strawberry lemonade. That's pretty much all I got. <laughs> Everything else was gone. And then I got a whole new handle of vodka, so I am so excited. Anyway, let's talk about some fucking makeup. All right, so the first product I pulled is, <laughs> we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills because you know, it's been a hot minute since they've done anything. Wow, that vodka's strong, fuck. Uh, this is the Lash Brag Volumizing New Mascara. I don't know what, I don't know what that was. Wow, 19,000 people want this? I'm surprised because so many people were like, fuck ABH. Oh. I guess people forgave them real quick. Anyway, the Achieve Maximum Lash Volume and Fullness you can't stop bragging about. Instantly creates a look of dramatic full body lashes and tension, jet black color, blah, 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 blah. March 10th it comes out. Okay. All right, so I guess this is like a really big deal because they've never made a mascara before. So I noticed on their website, they actually have two different versions. They have a mini, which is for $13, and then they have the big one for $25. $25, it's kind of expensive. You know what? I'm a sucker for fucking volumizing mascara. Who am I kidding? Okay. I, since I have really no eyelashes, my eyelashes cease to fucking exist. And I'm not a bitch that wears fucking falsies. Like get the fuck out of here. I need something that's volumizing. Essence has a really good volumizing mascara. I am also bougie as fuck. So I really like the Guerlain one. And I actually bought a Gucci one because I was with Michelle Wong and she peer pressured me into it. Just kidding. <laughs> She did peer pressure me into some Chanel stuff though, but I have literally no fucking regrets. Again, just kidding. I was willingly giving my credit card to everybody in that goddamn Saks Fifth Avenue. But whatever I digress, point is, is that I'm always looking for something that's volumizing. So yeah, I'll definitely check this out. I think with all ABH products as of late, I have just zero expectations. So if it is good, it's a home run. If it's not good, I don't feel that bad. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. Whatever, I'm gonna keep drinking. So I think that, I think I did something with my bingo card. It's an ABH release. So the next one I'm gonna pull is from Sigma. Well, if you are new here, hi, my name is Teresa and I have a code with Sigma. If you are interested in ever getting anything, please use the code garbage. <laughs> Save you some coinage off. I have dabbled a little bit with their makeup, not too much. This palette though, my makeup dick does not rise for it. This is just in, like another fucking, basically another warm, neutral, boring ass fucking palette. You know, it kind of gives me Urban Decay, Naked Heat vibes a little bit. I don't know, man. Like, <sighs> the only interesting thing about this palette is probably the brush. It's probably the best thing about this palette. 
I know for myself, I'll never pick this up. I have no reason to. I have enough of that in my collection. I don't need another that in my collection. Meh, I'm gonna pass on this. My makeup dick is retracting into my body. But with that said, I believe that is on my bingo card as it's a basic as fuck neutral palette. Thanks, Sigma. So the next thing I pull is Too Faced. Tooth, did I say toothpaste? Toothpaste. God damn it, all right. It's coming out with a Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Matte Concealer. Now this guy retails for about $22 a piece, comes in 17 shades, blah, 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 blah. And it looks like a dead ringer for my beautiful NARS Soft Matte Concealer. The packaging is cute, you know? That's pretty much all it's got going for itself. I'm kind of like meh with some Too Faced complexion products. I think the only thing that really works for me well is that Born This Way Super Sculpt whatever, that one concealer, that fat one, you know, you know that one, this one, whatever. That one, top notch, love it. Everything else, meh. I just don't think I'm ever gonna really pick this up. My under eyes are pretty dry, so for me to actually put a MAC concealer on, I would be fucking insane. <laughs> Their Peach Perfect line, I have their foundation and it's just okay. I don't think it's really all that great. I know a lot of people swear by it, but it's just okay. There's actually nothing remotely, no, I can't think any, I can't actually, it doesn't even stick out in my mind. It's actually almost forgettable, which I feel like is sometimes worse. So I'm gonna say no to this. I'm gonna say no. Oh, that's a big no. So the next thing is Makeup Revolution. <laughs> and it's the Glass Collection. So you get a Glass Liquid Skin Illuminating Primer Serum for $10. Then they have a Glass Skin Primer Ultimate Dewy Finish. Illuminator Ultra Shine Highlighter in three shades, $10 each. Two Glass Shadow Palettes, Lip Gloss, Dewy Fix Setting Spray, Iridescent, Iridescent Fix Setting Spray the fuck out of here. Anytime you have iridescent, you might as well literally just fucking go to Joanne's Fabric and just lay in the craft glitter aisle. Fuck out of here. Why would I pay $11 for that experience when I could just do it for free? Anyway, I'm gonna say no to this and it actually kind of bums me out because I really enjoy Lunar Beauty's Moon Prism Powder or whatever the fucking, that highlighter, this thing, you know, Sailor Moon's asshole. I fucking love it. It's such a good highlighter. It's such a good fucking highlighter. Probably one of the prettier highlighters that I have in my collection. So it kind of sad that pretty much stole his whole fucking packaging. But you can tell that theirs just feels cheaper. You just tell that theirs just feels cheap and shitty. Sometimes I'm on board with Makeup Revolution, but not this one. This one's kind of... It's kind of fucked up, so nah, I'm not gonna try this. The Makeup Revolution highlighters in general are like, meh, they're hit or miss. Every once in a while, it's a home run, but usually it's very powdery. Usually it's very dry and not enough payoff. And I'm sorry, but I just, I wanna look like a fucking alien glowing slut, bitch. I don't got time for dry ass formula. So yeah, I'm gonna pass on this. And I'm gonna call this fucking major copycat vibes on my bingo card. All right, so the next thing we're gonna pull is Milani. Hi, baby. If you haven't seen my Drunk Purchases Sober Reviews video, whatever, I'll link it up in the corner there. On Twitter and Patreon, I mentioned, you know what? I wanna try some Milani products because there are some Milani products that I have, but I feel like I need to have more because they've been coming out with some things that I'm like, Yes, bitch, it piques my interest. So I decided I'm gonna drunk buy some Milani products because it just sounds like a good idea. Milani actually tweeted at and was like, hey, can't wait to see the video. <laughs> So uh, let's apologize now, because you're not gonna wanna hear what the fuck comes out of my mouth, but whatever, I love you. Anyway, I just pulled the Ludicrous Lights collection. I'm intrigued by this, and I have one Milani highlighter that is fucking amazing. So if it's anything like that, I will be so fucking happy. I am gonna be picking up something from this collection. Now with that said, I'm gonna call this yet another lip gloss, because there's a lip gloss in this collection, and it's yet another lip gloss, but whatever, I wanna fucking try it anyway. So in any case, I'm gonna mark this on my bingo card. <clears throat> And um, I'm gonna purchase it, so I'm classy. I also had the number one, but there was this one time I stayed in a hotel that was haunted, and I'm pretty sure the ghost took my number one bronzer. What a dick. So next thing I'm pulling is my son, Tatcha. Oh my God, I love you, Tatcha. I really do. <laughs> 
love you so much, okay? Like, I know you're never gonna know who the fuck I am. Occasionally, if I tag you enough times, you'll leave a purple heart on my pictures on Instagram. And I live for that, trust me, I do. I actually have this. It's actually behind me, right? I purchased it. And it's the liquid silver, liquid silver canvas. What the fuck am I saying? The liquid silk canvas. I'm gonna leave this for a bite size review. I am wearing it today. I've been wearing it for actually the past two days now. I have some thoughts. And I'm gonna keep you in suspense with that one. I really love the regular silk canvas. That is my fucking ride or die primer. So when I saw this, I literally lost my goddamn fucking mind. And then I saw Britt Clark's video comparing the two and then I got even more excited. My makeup dick got really hard. I cannot wait to talk about this. I don't think I could fill out anything in my bingo card. Oh, another ABH palette. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh, it's this shit, okay. So it's the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I never owned it or anything like that. Everything I have heard so far has been pretty negative. As someone who is a highlight queen, I kinda wanna see it in stores and it looks like it's going to be in Ulta. Oh, it looks like it's actually gonna be in Ulta and Sephora. Oh, fuck me sideways, okay. You know what, maybe, maybe I might go check this out. I don't know. You know what, actually, let me know down below, like, did I get bad advice that this is bullshit or is it really good because a lot of people are like oh my god this is so fucking great and like sucking this thing's dick and then some people are like this is disgusting <laughs> so i don't know let me know what i am gonna say though for my bingo card i think we're gonna call this shit collab or product that won't die <laughs> only because it got resurrected from the grave back in 2017 so it just won't die we have to destroy the brain oh man Starting to look real fucked up. Ooh. So next one I pull is, oh, hello, Carity. <laughs> this is actually Morphe. <laughs> but I swear to God, it looks like a fucking Carity palette. It looks like that fucking spicy picante palette. That's not that good. It sucks. I talked about it in my makeup collection video. I believe I did anyway. There's one Carity palette that I have. It's a matte palette. It's fucking great. Every palette I have gotten since then, not so good. <laughs> like it hasn't been that good. And it makes me sad because I really, really do love that matte palette. This looks, I swear to God, it really just looks like a fucking dead ringer for that palette. It's kind of crazy that the only difference is that Morphe has a mirror in their palette. Okay, so I feel like Morphe literally shoved 35 pan palettes down our throats for like the longest time. Now it's like 18 shade palettes. Honestly, the color Story is just like a boring ass neutral palette, blah, 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 whatever, nobody gives a fuck. What does look kind of interesting perhaps is the bronzers because the bronzers look like they actually come in a really decent range and they actually look like they have some cool tone options. Hello. Cause you never fucking see that ever. Even though I've been obsessed with that stupid motherfucking Tom Ford bronzer. Like it, it hurts. It hurts my fucking soul how much I love it. But I'm always in the market for a new bronzer. Am I gonna buy this? I don't know, should I buy this? <laughs> Press one down below <laughs> if I should buy this. Not mad, I don't know. Ew. <laughs> I'm never gonna get that Morphe affiliate code, oh no. Actually, you'll know something's up if I have a Morphe affiliate code. I feel like I'd have to do like a two hour video of me apologizing profusely. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know, we're gonna come back to this. But on my little bingo card over here, I guess I can't really call it an oversized Morphe palette because it's like, not an obese palette, you know what I mean? Like it's it's like an average palette. The 35 is more of like an obese palette. Next. Next one I have, ooh. Benefit. So Benefit, oh, it's actually already available. Oh, this bums me out. Benefit came out with a Cheek Parade palette. No, a Cheek Stars Reunion Tour palette, $60. Ooh, I wish they were always like a hair cheaper, but whatever. Anyway, it comes with Sugar Bomb, Dallas, Georgia, Hula, and my fucking end all be all, one of the best goddamn highlighters to ever grace this fucking earth cookie in one little palette. And then of course they have a smaller palette that pretty much just has Sugar Bomb, Hula, and Georgia. Georgia looks so fucking pretty. That looks really pretty. Oh, and it makes me think of Georgia Harris. I miss her. Hi, Georgia. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. But I wanted that. 
So I have lat, well not last year's, maybe the year before, right? I don't know. It's over there, the, the palette thingy. And that's where I fell in love with Cookie. It was just so fucking good. And that palette, you know, I think if I knew this was going to come out, I probably would have picked up this palette only because I love peach blush. I really love Sugar Bomb. It's actually the first benefit blush I ever purchased. And it was all thanks to my old colleague, Diana. And Diana, if you are watching, I love you and I miss you. And I can't fucking wait to visit you in California. I don't know when, but I will. I will. I will. Diana was one of the reasons why I created a YouTube channel. So I owe Diana everything. If I were to get this, I wouldn't get this at full price for damn sure. Because I don't think it's worth it at $60. 20% off? Yes. 60 bucks? Not so much. Now the other thing that's also in this collection, which I don't really fucking understand, is a Morphe brush collaboration with Benefit. First of all, I would have never thought that would have ever happened ever, 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 ever. <laughs> like, I don't quite understand like why they're fucking each other. I don't get it. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. It just feels kind of dirty. <laughs> feels dirty and weird. Like, why? Like Morphe brushes, there are, I will, okay, I will admit that when I went to the Morphe store, I did pick up some of the Jaclyn Hill brushes because I heard they're amazing. And you know what? They are, I know, Jaclyn Hill, I get it, I get it, I know, I hate me too. But those are good. Every other Morphe brush I've ever owned from them has been complete dog shit. I'm gonna guess that this is complete dog shit. Because <laughs> I doubt they have that uh, Jaclyn formula. Oh God, I'm, not, I'm I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. All right, I'm gonna say no to this. I'm gonna say no to that, especially the brush part. But I would revisit the reunion tour. I kind of want this. Oh, fuck. No, no, not yet. Not yet, my sweet. Not yet. Next. So the next one I'm gonna pull is ColourPop. What? This actually kind of shocked the shit out of me. One, because ColourPop hasn't come out with any palettes. I'm recording this on Saturday, March 7th, all right? I'm pretty sure by the time this goes up, there will be at least seven ColourPop palettes that have been released. But as of today, there hasn't been, all right? It's only these fucking Lucky Charm sponges. You know what? Here, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a fucking tip, okay? Don't, don't fuck with these sponges. Like, don't fuck with them, all right? How much, even, even at ColourPop, how much is this fucking shit? $7 each or $20 for a whole set. Y'all, just get a fucking Shop Miss A sponge. This shit's a dollar, all right? This is fucking awesome. This is amazing. I literally have 75 of them behind me. Beauty Blender, I think it's really fucking overrated. I love the Real Technique sponge. I love the Japanesque sponge. Oh my God, that's a fucking godsend. It makes me sad that I think it just doesn't fucking exist anymore or you have to go on dark web shit just to get a couple of them it's just not fucking worth it now with that said they're a dollar just get these okay they only come in pink uh who cares yes i know we all love colors we all love pastels but you know what once you put foundation on it it doesn't look like this <laughs> okay it's gonna look like this shitty these look hard and disappointing aka what my single life used to be like so i'm gonna pass on this i don't think it's fucking worth it i don't think you should buy it just get these sponges they're a dollar they're a dollar <laughs> they're so fucking good don't fall for the fucking color pop trap get the fuck out of here with that said i will say that i'm happy to see that at least it's something else other than a fucking collection at least they're kind of branching out but on my bingo card i could mark this off as color pop as well as actually a beauty blender color technically but we're gonna call it color pop It's bitey. It has like a peppery bite to it. It's lemonade. <laughs> I don't know why it has a peppery bite. All right. Okay. So <laughs> Lime Crime came out with some stuff that I'm kind of confused about. There's a lot of things going on in this Lime Crime collection. And I think I need a drink for it. Lime Crime's coming out with a bunch of different things for their Fairy Garden collection. Fairy Garden, Fairy Garden, Fairy Garden collection. Fuck me. They have a Midsummer Single Shadow. No, I'll pass. I don't know, there's nothing about it that looks fucking interesting. Especially for $16 a shadow. Who the fuck do you think you are? All right, so next thing you have a Body Light Highlighter. No. First of all, one is a super <laughs> Supernatural Body Highlighter. Sign me the fuck up. What is this? Why would I ever want to look like I have ghosts come on me? Come on, really? It looks like Slimer splooged all over me. Why would I want that? Why wouldn't I want that? 
No, 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 no. The other ones are a little bit better, Enchantress and Lunar. The fucking green one though, Supernatural. There's a time and a place for ghost semen, all right? And a meeting with middle management is not one of them. The next thing is these wet cherry glosses, which just, <laughs> I don't, I don't, what, what is this? I don't like the sparkly lip thing, especially when there's like all these little micro glitters and yes, I mean, it looks really fucking cool until you have to speak. And then when you start talking and you realize that these little fucking micro glitters are getting everywhere and it's really messy and goopy, it's not a good time. And then you have unicorn hair. Transform yourself into a fairy queen with fairy garden unicorn hair shades. Sound like a mouthful, right? Full coverage, dress your locks in dark shades and magic. <laughs> Mischief. <laughs> Start mist. Let your hair stay shimmery and speck some pixie pigments. What the fuck? Who wrote this? Let's actually hold on. Let's click the picture of it. Oh, that's all right. You know what? It's kind of pretty. Not gonna lie. Oh, there's a lot of them. Holy fuckaroony. Okay, not gonna lie. Like, there are little, like, things in the picture, like little white things that are just like, is that lice? Like, what is. <laughs> to put that one right there. You know what I mean? Like it kind of looks funny. Like what is all these little white dots? Is it, is it shimmery goodness? What is this? Or is it dandruff? Is it dandruff? Is it? Oh. Also like, did they just Photoshop the fucking hair? Cause all the other hair doesn't have weird dandruff to it. I don't know, man. 17 year old me is freaking the fuck out right now. And we love this shit so much. Because when I was 17, my hair was fucking fire engine red. It was pink, it was it was all kinds of fucking shades. And it was badass, all right? I was a badass bitch. And fortunately with, you know, working a fucking job that won't allow you to be creative, you can't do that. You have to look like whatever the fuck this is. I don't know what this is. This apparently is my hair color. I was born blonde. I think I fucked up my hair enough that it just turned to this color. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so 17 year old me would love to dye my fucking hair cotton candy pink. Yeah, what the fuck is this like white shit in the hair? Yeah, obviously these, these things are photoshopped. They have to be photoshopped. They don't look right. In any case, I thought we stopped doing the fairy stuff like two years ago. It was unicorns, then fairies, then mermaids. Like, I'm all for like bog witch. I'm not really necessarily wanting to look like a fucking fairy, all right? I'm gonna say no to this whole collection. There's nothing that is really interesting about this collection at all, actually. Just fucking stop. Don't even look into this. <laughs> oh man, I'm just, ugh, I'm fucking, I don't even know, man. With that said, I'm gonna respectfully decline. <laughs> All right, so the next thing is from Makeup Revolution again. So Makeup Revolution is coming out with more of their I Heart Tasty, whatever that bullshit I Heart Revolution collection. Looks like you can pick up a mini Tasty Avocado, a mini Tasty Peach Palette. Then they have like a larger peach palette. They have a Dewy Fix Setting Spray and then a, a Brightening Fix Spray and Pineapple. As much as that mini avocado does speak to me, I don't know, something about that puke green shade in that palette that I'm like, fuck. I don't know, I'm here for that one. I don't understand why they need to capitalize on this further. Like the bigger avocado palette is perfect. I don't know why you need to make mini palettes. Like they're not even that fucking expensive to make. So I don't really understand the reasoning for that to make a little palette. Like, do you really need it? The mini peach palette doesn't look special at all. And the bigger peach palette is just like another boring ass bullshit fucking warm tone neutral. No, nobody fucking cares. You know, I'm very finicky when it comes to setting sprays, especially when it has scent in it when it has scent in it, it usually fucks my ass up because I have sensitive skin so uh no I'm gonna fucking pass on this the lip masks and balms look really adorable but you know what it's not even worth it to fucking get because I don't like the fucking pots that you kind of dip your finger in it skeeves me out I need to have it in a stick form or nothing else even though I'm the only person putting my finger into it wow I'm getting drunk even <laughs> all right even though <laughs> Even though I'm the only person putting my fucking finger in it, like, I know what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not trying to kill myself. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. So I... <laughs> oh, oh my God. Like, do you know when it, like, just hits you? Like, you're like, all right, like, I'm kind of buzzed. And then it hits you, like, <laughs> like a ton of bricks. That's what it just did. <laughs> 
<laughs> the fuck am I talking about? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna say no to this. What are you doing, Makeup Revolution? The avocado palette's good. Leave it alone. Make some other fucking ones. No. <laughs> no to all of this. The next thing I'm gonna pull is, oh. Okay, from Fenty. Fenty is gonna be coming out with cream, blush, and bronzer, and my makeup dick is so hard right now. I'm gonna impregnate each and every one of you. You're welcome. We're gonna make adorable babies. One, I'm excited because I have been on a fucking blush kick lately. It's disgusting. I am like, literally just paint me like a fucking clown. <laughs> love blush. I've been getting into cream blushes lately, especially with that Tasha Denona Love palette. I've been playing with the Glossier Cloud Paint, as well as the M Cosmetics Blush Serum, which are fucking, oh my God, Chef Kiss amazing. So I'm very intrigued by this product. You know, I'm not really a big cream bronzer boy or like a cream contour boy. I never really liked using them. I'm more of like a powder boy. But when it comes to blush, I could fuck with powder or cream. So I'm excited either way. There's another Fenty product on this list. I might as well just talk about too, even though I didn't pull it. It's a matchstick. Looks fucking great. It looks so wet and slutty and beautiful. I cannot wait to fuck me up some of that. So I'm definitely gonna be picking that up. I just love looking like a wet, hot alien slut. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. So yes, yes, yes and yes to both Fenty products. I don't think I could put anything on my bingo card, so. Mm. Next thing I'm gonna pull is from Pure. Mm. <laughs> so that's just my general reaction to Pure products. All right, so Pure is coming out. Why do 17,000 people like this? What's wrong with you people? These little palettes look like that Dior holiday palette that came out or whatever. First of all, when I fucking saw this pure troll thing, I was like, y'all, didn't y'all fucking do this already? And I think they did. Besides My Little Pony, I swear to God, they fucking did a fucking trolls palette. And I know this because I think I purchased this at Ipsy Generation Beauty back in like 20 fucking 18 or 17 or something. I remember going to the pure booth before I realized that they were utter water trash, all right? I swear to God, I picked up a pure fucking Trolls palette. Yes, they did. They had DreamWorks Trolls, and it was a shitty fucking palette. So when I saw this thing fucking come up, I was like, are you fucking, like what? No, no, no. And there's a lip gloss set. Of course there's a lip gloss set. Y'all, I think I, honestly, I think I would like Pure more if it wasn't shoved down my throat with every boxy charm box I got. Also, why are they partnering up with trolls? I never really understood that. And it's not even like the good trolls, like the, the trolls that I know and love, these little fuckers. It's not even that, it's this fucking thing. What is this? No, 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 no. Give me gem belly or nothing, okay? Nothing. I don't really understand why they are partnering together. Don't really understand the collaboration. Don't really understand the whole fucking thing of it. Even if this was given to me for free, I'd be like, no, take it back. Just fucking take it back. Next. All right, so the next thing is Benefit again. Okay, what Benefit product is this? Oh, okay, this is the Benefit Cosmetics Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation. You have no idea how hard it was to try to say that. <laughs> Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation. I don't know why it's so difficult right now. Could be because I'm drunk. I don't know. I made a video about this foundation, I wanna say, I don't know, a little while ago, and it wasn't the stick one, it was the liquid one, and it was okay. Like, I think it's a beautiful filming foundation, and that's it. Like, if I were to wear it outside and go on with my day, it would look like absolute garbage. There's just something about it that looks really good under soft boxes, just not in natural fucking light. So, because of that, I've always been less interested in trying any of their cream products. Their complexion products are, like I think their powder products are wonderful. Plus the shade range looks like hot water trash. There's literally what fucking, there's 12 shades? Bro, come on. <laughs> The only thing that I like about this is the actual fucking component. It looks like somebody just put some stickers on a Makeup Revolution stick. <laughs> so we're gonna mark that on our bingo card as foundation. Oh shit. I hit motherfucking bingo. Cheers. I need to drink one more drink before I start online drunk shopping. <laughs>
With that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord, Patreon. Sometimes we have a podcast called Miserable 3, and I'll be doing actually an audio podcast coming soon called Dead and Bored, and I'll be on Twitch shortly playing The Sims and ruining people's lives and all that other stuff. If you want to know what is currently on my face, along with everything that I mentioned in this video, everything will be listed in the description box below, and I can't believe I just remembered that and spit that out. So with that said, I'll see you little pumpkins later. Drink responsibly. Bye.